Dave's Law Firm. It will be remembered as the first road win for the Dallas Cowboys this year over Minnesota, but a lot of players and coaches will just know it as the Gallagher game or the sledgehammer game, depending on how old you are. And if you remember comedian Gallagher and his bit with smashing a watermelon on stage, stuff flying everywhere. Hey, Coach Mike McCarthy borrowed his bit smashing watermelons. It all happened in a hotel room before the Cowboys were set to play the Vikings on Sunday. According to the NFL Network, while McCarthy was talking to his team, having that team meeting, Staff members rolled out watermelons with goals written on them, including the final one that had a picture posted of Vikings running back Dalvin Cook. McCarthy took a sledgehammer and started pounding the watermelon, spraying, you know, watermelon stuff all over the ballroom. Much of the players' delight. They loved it. And the final one left for Demarcus Lawrence, who wanted to smash the watermelon with Cook's picture on it. As it turns out, the Cowboys' defense came up with two forced fumbles by Donovan Wilson, one on Cook that was recovered by Tank. Today, McCarthy, or yesterday, McCarthy addressed his motivational tactic that led to the Cowboys' 31-28 victory, the first road win of the season, and the first win without Dak Prescott. It's important to have fun. You're, you're always trying to, you know, create emphasis in your messaging, and, and, and that's really where it came from. We're just using the approach, just honoring a great comedian, you know, Gallagher, and uh, it's just an idea that came up, and uh, we went for it, and, and uh, the players were, were into it, and, and we had some fun with it. All right, the Cowboys play on Thanksgiving afternoon against Washington at 335, and we're just getting some breaking news from the Cowboys camp up there in Arlington in Dallas. The circumstances speak for the severity of the situation. That is a statement from the Dallas Cowboys themselves about the reason that they canceled practice this afternoon. So we'll have more for you on that. So it sounds like a pretty serious situation up there at, uh, at the uh, Cowboys complex. Certainly does. Well, we're going to head over to SA Live now down at Market Square. Hey, guys. How are you? Happy almost Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Cheers almost to that. Thanksgiving. We'll drink to that. <laughs> Look at the little mini margaritas. Yes. Guess how much they are. 75 cents. 75 cents. <laughs> right now, well, starting in about four minutes through 3.30, there's some other great deals right yes, here yes. at uh, you have to stick around for those deals. How about it? Speaking of La Familia Cortez, they also have a great recipe with those turkey leftovers. Just three ingredients. That's all you'll need for this perfect soup to keep you warm with those turkey leftovers. Yep, especially looking at that forecast that jo Justin was talking about for next week. Hey, shop local. You know, Friday's Black okay. Friday. Saturday, big get Elsa Fernandez, our dear friend, is here. And you've got something special, right? Yes, Shop Small Saturday is this Saturday. And we have a little sneak peek of the latest Shop local makeup palette you can buy. Can't and see on that. Can't see it yet. Yes. Great no ideas peace. to help out local folks. And you love your coffee, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. We take you to the Hill Country for the perfect quaint little spot where you can do some vintage. I like to call it vintage antique shopping with some Java too. It's all a win-win, right. all right? <laughs> Up to this point, you probably have already been to the grocery store and all the crowds out there and gotten your turkey. So the big question is, how do you cook your turkey mm. in the oven? in the deep fryer, Ooh. maybe in the smoker. Ooh, they all sound good. Let oh, us know. <laughs> something like that. Plus a recap of uh, Dance with the Stars. Oh, yes, the Coming big up. finale. You may be feeling a little bit restless at home due to the pandemic. So if you're looking for a way to get out of the house, you might consider a drive-in movie. The drive-in at Fiesta, Texas, hosted by Rooftop Cinema Club, is showing holiday classics throughout the rest of the year. For a full list of movie schedules and ticket prices, just go to ksat.com. And the sun's starting to pop out. We'll see those temperatures jump up near 80 later this afternoon. A little cooler tomorrow and drier. Cold front moves through tomorrow morning. Brings in drier air for your Wednesday. 78 for Thanksgiving looks good, but clouds, rain return. Friday into Saturday, some of our best rain chances we've seen in a while as we go into the weekend, guys. That turkey looks like he might as yeah. well be walking on the sun. <laughs> hey, real quick, wanted to update the situation with the Dallas Cowboys. They yeah. canceled practice and everything today, non-COVID related. And now the uh, ESPN is reporting that the Cowboys strength coach had to be rushed to the hospital. No word on his condition right now, but that's, that's the reason they canceled practice. But not COVID related. Not COVID related. Okay. All right. Well, that's our show. Thanks so much for watching. All right. Let's head back downtown to uh, enjoy the, uh, is this, is this, is Pre-Eve Eve Thanksgiving Day, right? Show? Is that what this is? Yeah, but they're partying like it's already yeah. Thanksgiving. It's always Thanksgiving down there. It's a live starts right now.
Yep, it's always a party here, and today on SA Live, none other than Java Jen <laughs> takes us to a coffee lover's dream up in comfort. Yes, La Familia Cortez shares lunch specials and an easy to make turkey soup you will need to write down in your recipe book. Super hey, easy. And we catch up with a San Antonio actor that is starring in an ABC hit TV show. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, there's one way to celebrate. Yes, exactly. Cheers to Tuesday. What did David call it? The Thanksgiving Eve Eve? <laughs> Something like this would be the uh, penultimate day. <laughs> there we go. You know, before Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, you know, you've been doing all that Thanksgiving shopping and so you got to take yourself out for dinner tonight, okay? Give yourself a little bit of break after being at the grocery store for so long, and we have got a deal for you. We told you about the little baby margaritas, yes, right? they're so cute. 75 cents. Now, this is because uh, Mi Tierra has 75,000 followers now, the power of social media. So they're celebrating. So 75 cents mm -hmm. for these little baby ones now mm -hmm. up until 3.30. Then starting later on tonight, they have 750 jumbo oh there's the baby he's so cute come over baby. to its big brother <laughs> yeah. right there <laughs> if you there's need a little jumbo. bit more that is 750 and the enchilada plate is 750 so great deal mm -hmm. out there for your Gotta love it yeah you know, penultimate delicious. meal before thanksgiving love it. so yeah. good yeah. afternoon everyone <laughs> i'm mike osterhage i'm jen tobias jeske in for fiona two days that's all we have two more days till thanksgiving mike Hopefully, How do you like your turkey? <laughs> hopefully the turkey is fine. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes, so, you know, the traditional way, by the way, oven bags, great way to cook a turkey, keep it nice and moist and all that mm. stuff. But, you know, fried turkeys, mm. if you've never had one of those things, it is a delicacy. Smoked turkeys, Ooh, a lot of folks get okay. up early and start smoking Take it. Take it up a notch, yes. How do you like it? I, I like it roasted. I think that's the traditional way that my family's always had Have you it. had good fried turkey? I don't think so. Ooh. I don't. I know. I'm thinking about it. Have I? And, and it's so amazing because it keeps mind. all those juices in there. Right. Okay. I don't have all the whole big set of everything. Next but time. we want to know how do you like your turkey done? Yes. Do you like it roasted in the oven? Do you like it fried? Do you like it smoked? Mm. Maybe they all, all sound the above. good. I know. They all sound delicious. You had a good tip too. Is it thawed out? Make sure you put it in cold water. Right. If, if it's not thawed out, you have to put it in cold water and keep the water running, just kind of dripping in there, and that's going to help it thaw much, much quicker. Do not put it in warm Don't water <laughs> to try and thaw your turkey. Be yes. very careful with that. Thank you, Mike. I needed that tip. So let us know on SA Live Quesa and Facebook and Twitter, and we may share your comments a little bit later in the show. All right. What comes up after Thanksgiving, but all the shopping, and a lot of folks like to uh, hit all the big stores and everything for Black Friday, but if you don't don't want to do that and you would rather maybe wait a day let the turkey hit bottom and then go for all the shopping <laughs> boy do we have something for you joining us today is one of our very <laughs> favorite small business owners yeah. and one of our very favorite guests we haven't seen in a while Elsa Fernandez how hi I'm so happy to be out of the house and with you guys <laughs> sharing how to shop small and support your local community Always so, happy to have you, Elsa. I Thank can't you. even take you at your place, but yes. you also are basically the spokesperson for all the small Support businesses, right? I love to be at <laughs> every dollar you spend locally, 67 cents stays here in the community. And I know San Antonio, if they love the Spurs, the only thing they love more is shopping local. So these are some of the items that we have. First off is Elsewhere Com Cosmetics. And Millie is amazing. She's actually debuting. We have the sneak peek of her manifest palette so the actual palette is filled with these neutrals Ooh. and then you have this orange and this pink that is just to die for that pink. yes beautiful. so this um friday saturday sunday the palettes are 25 dollars um That's i'm sorry great. this one is 25 dollars the other palettes are 30 percent off okay. and then the lashes are buy two get one free so Great definitely deals. go follow her. Wow. Yes, yes, beautiful. Next for the music lover. For the music lover in your family, for the music history lover and the oldies lover, um, for like an aunt or an uncle, the Del Bravo Record Shop is the oldest record shop in Texas. I went and I fell in love with the family. Miss Irma there is amazing, and it all started with the Grandpa Salome. So if you have a music lover in your household or in your family, definitely pick one of these up. I see one of the tracks, I only have eyes for you. Exactly. Good it's good very stuff. nostalgic and I'm here for it. <laughs> Sounds it. very romantic as does this. <laughs> this is a great little thing. Next, if you need a pick me up and a perfect way to start your day, this um, coffee mug, it's called the Chula Mug from Elan <laughs> Bell. 
If you pour your coffee in there, you will see Aww. when the coffee rises, it makes a little oh. heart shape. It is glass oh blown oh. into the mug Beautiful. for Small Business Saturday. They have 10% off of their Chula mug and I think it's $14 to begin with. So it is a steal and amazing to give to your friends. Cute, I love that. Yeah, that's so fun. Perfect little stockings. <laughs> it makes me happy every morning. <laughs> So beautiful. Yeah. And the, speaking of stocking stuffers. Stocking really stuffers. Cute. Okay, the little baby fireside bourbon syrup by Manchild is perfect to put on pancakes, waffles, but even surprisingly so, you can sneak some into your coffee or into a cocktail. The bourbon is cooked out of it, so there's no alcohol. <laughs> so yes, it is okay for the kids to <laughs> yeah, have the exactly. bourbon Exactly. Just a touch, yeah. <laughs> and um, the baby ones are going to be $8, oh, I'm sorry, $5, and then the big one is going to be $12. Mm -hmm. Super cute. These are great. This is a perfect, uh, like a hostess gift. If you're going yes. to, well, I know there's not a lot of parties, but if you just want to give something to, to somebody special, something like uh, this little one. Over exactly. Here. We're in San Antonio. Who doesn't love color, especially since we missed Fiesta this year? Yes. Um, Lindy from Sassy Since Birth. She uses alcohol and resin to make these beautiful, bright colored works of art. She has coasters, which are to die for, um, which are the black and gold ones that we have. And then she makes these Texases and the Texases in the frames. Um, I know she does a free delivery over $25 when you use the code SA Live from now until Sunday. So take advantage of that deal for sure. Um, and go follow her on social media because she has a ton of cool stuff. And last not, but not least, can't forget about your place. Thank I you. <laughs> exactly. And accessories. You can't have enough cute headbands. Yes. Headbands and scarves and things like that, right? We are pretty much stuck at home for the holidays. So if you're going to wear your joggers and your sweats, you might as well dress them up with a headband. We also have scarves from tropical to tie-dye and leopard because leopard is totally a neutral, as we all know, I yes. believe. <laughs> so, um, it's a perfect way to um, make your holiday shopping goals happen. And we have to, to mention, Elsa, you guys are featured on this website. Tell us all yes. about that. Okay, so Dia & Co is a national brand and they put together plus size subscription boxes, but they also have a marketplace. This year, they're supporting the Shop Local Initiative with their holiday market. There's 10 boutiques uh, that specialize in plus size around the nation and we are one of them. It is, it boggles my mind, but I'm so excited to be a part of it and to represent San Antonio. Yay! Fantastic. Yeah. Only in Texas. That's so awesome. The, we're the only ones in Texas. Oh, I yeah. love and it. If love you want it, to love shop it. local, the hashtag is? Hashtag shop local or shoplocal.com. Okay. All right. Thank For more you, information Elsa. on Eye Candy Boutique and all of these other local businesses, and she's going to kind of post a list of some of these yeah. uh, later on on her website, but you can get to her website on our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And now to another local business you can support. And Mike, you know how much I love my coffee. That's why we have. <laughs> Our Java Gen. <laughs> yes, based in Comfort. This is a place called 8th Street Market and Comfort Coffee, and it combines vintage shopping with a coffee shop. Okay, I'm already getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> and, been there. and so much more. Take a look. Almost three acre place. It's, there's a lot of uh, inside shopping and there's also a lot of outside shopping so for those who are worried about COVID there's plenty of space to spread out to do your shopping and to um, just have a great time there's like 30 something vendors that we have here they're all have their own uh, twist on what sets them apart from someone else so you're not going to see the same thing over and over it is complete like like I said, like three acres full of just treasures to find. Hill Country holiday shopping with some of the most unique finds out there. That's what you'll find at the A Street Market in Comfort. Antiques and Java too. And so yeah, we wanted to create an environment out here with top quality coffee, some great antiques, um, and just a fun place for people to hang out. Get the chocolate cake. It is a chocolate sheet cake and it is fantastic. You're gonna to wanna to get the chocolate sheet cake. The coffee is amazing here and you're gonna to wanna to spend time here. Bring family members with you if you wanna come alone. And the other day I was feeling stressed out and, and having a bad day and I came here and it made me feel better. I, I was the chocolate cake too, but um, these people are just amazing, I'm telling you. My husband and I, are divorced and comfort is our meeting place so this is kind of a good transition place for us and a good place for the kids to kind of have that sense of home even when kind of home is always in transition. It's designed just so they'll flow from vendor to vendor and uh, we found that that just creates more of a community for our store. This is like a family for us. Everybody you know has their thing that they specialize in. 
Wow, this is amazing. First coffee. Okay, I have my latte, time to do some shopping. Coffee, shopping, that's my kind of combination. Let's go. Talk about a magical place if you're looking for some Christmas decor, decorations. I mean, just walking in, I already see a beautiful Christmas tree I want. There's a wreath here, but let's keep shopping. As she mentioned, all the vendors have their own little section. So every current corner you turn, you're gonna find something else. Look at this, beautiful. I've always loved these little trees, so cute. Obviously lots of ornaments all over this place. I've seen tons of ornaments already, but just so many cute items that you can decorate the house. I'm getting so many ideas right now. I don't even know what to do. Ooh, for the holiday cocktails. Very nice and vintage. special about finding that perfect piece for your home when you're doing antique shopping because you just don't know what you're gonna find. Let's keep looking, come on. These are so cute. Okay, I think I really want these. So many Christmas decorations. I think I'm gonna get those. <laughs> Yes, the fun finds do not end inside. If you need a break, overwhelmed maybe by all the unique items here, come outside and relax on these swings. Enjoy the rest of your coffee. That's what I'm doing. And if you're hungry on your little break, how about something to eat? Yes, everything from sweet treats, breakfast sandwiches, and even some salads. Got a handful of different pastries that are fresh baked every morning. And on top of that, we have some teas and lemonades and other things that we brew. Our shots are measured through weight and time. Uh, if they don't meet into the numbers we're looking for, uh, we dump out the shot. The vintage rugs, I think, are probably my favorite. And it's kind of my secret location, too. I don't even like to tell people when they're like, oh, gosh, where'd you get that? I'm like, uh, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I even took my daughter. We are antique shopping. <laughs> we had a blast. My daughter really wanted these. Talk about a comfortable shopping experience. You were having fun, weren't you? Oh, we had a blast. <laughs> I, don't, I won't even tell you how long we were there either. But yes, the event's still happening. You brought it up. The Christmas in Comfort event will be this weekend. So you can still go out there, but it has changed. There's no parade, right. but you can still shop local, which is what we're always pushing. So And uh, little downtown comfort looks like something out of a movie it's, set. It's very Christmassy town. Oh, it is wonderful. <laughs> yes. Great place. I'm gonna yes. check that Yes, SALive.com. Click the ask scene on SA Live tab if you want to find them and, and head out there. Take the drive, it's worth it. I won't tell you how much I spent. <laughs> and I'll have to ask you, not that one woman in the pack, because she won't tell me where it is, so where she goes. Exactly. All right, coming up next, make Thanksgiving and turkey leftovers easy with a fun recipe from Pico de Gallo. And the new season of A Million Little Things is here. We caught up with SA native James Roday, Rodriguez, and Allison Miller about the new season. Welcome back to SA Live. We crowned one champ last week, but the main event was still on the line. The finals of Dancing with the Stars. Yep, last night four stars hit the dance floor for the last time. Actress Justina Machado from the show One Day at a Time, rapper Nelly. Oh, Catfish TV host Neb Shulman and Bachelorette Caitlin Bristow. So each couple brought back their favorite performance of the season, then did the always show-stopping freestyle dance. They were all around stellar performances with each one earning a perfect or near perfect score. Wow, well you may remember we've been following all season playing the SA Live, you and Fiona have. Yes. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars Elimination Challenge and you two would guess who would be eliminated and you guys would score points, right? Is that how it right. worked? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so you may also remember the last week, Fiona, sorry, sorry to run this in, Mike. She scored so many points that it would make it impossible for Mike to win. So sorry. And Again. I just went home so that day anyway. So there so she is. We still wanted to finish out the season, so it was the finals. We each picked who we thought would win, and we both picked Bachelorette Caitlin Bristow. In the end, actress Justina Machado took fourth place, rapper Nelly was third, TV host Neb Shulman was second, and the Bachelorette Caitlin Bristow, in fact, won the Mirrorball Trophy last night. It was also her partner, Artem's first win. Yep, and as predicted, Fiona still won. And she's not here. She's out celebrating her victory right now. <laughs> look at her. Oh, look at her. So cute. <laughs> In her jammies. Enjoy, so, Fiona. You deserve but it. But I scored some points at least. 
Yay. Yeah. Yay for me. Yes, you too, Mike. <laughs> it isn't quite as bad, so thanks for sticking around. Uh, we're going to do that again next season, Dancing with the Stars. Maybe change the scoring a little bit, make it a little easier <laughs> to understand. But that was a lot of fun. I love that yes, show. I love watching yes, them dance, too. Yes, so. I like seeing how they progress. Speaking of shows on ABC, a new season of Million Little Things has pre has premiered. Yes, we caught up with the stars of the show, Allison Miller and San Antonio native James Rodé Rodriguez to find out about the new season. Take a look. All right, love, that'll be seven pounds fifty. Uh, sorry, I don't have any cash. Do you take credit cards? The machine's broken. The good news is we'll pick up right where we left off. Uh, so people won't have to wait too long to get the scoop. And uh, as you saw, Maggie is uh, heading off across the pond. The, the new adventures of old Maggie. That's what we're renaming the show. Yeah. We began filming in August, so we were deep into uh, the pandemic. And uh, we film in Vancouver, so we came up and quarantined for two weeks and we are tested twice a week, full PP PPE on set, uh, everyone's in masks. And at the last minute after they call action and uh, before they call cut, the actors remove their masks and then we put them right back on. Yeah, it's been a new normal uh, in every way imaginable, but uh, we're very happy to be able to bring you some new content uh, thank our fans for being so loyal and for being so patient. And uh, it's also not a bad way to live right now. Uh, you know, when everybody does does the same thing for the for the betterment of the group, yeah. it's it's proving that you know you can still be productive. And I have a feeling it's going to make a really good drinking game. See if you can spot the mask loop sticking out of a pocket. That's right. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! But if you call her, it's going to seem like I told you to call her because I didn't want to call her. I should call her. I should call her. Yeah, it was this year, man. It was this year and, and quarantining and watching what was happening all over this country and, you know, self-reflecting and talking to my dad and, and learning uh, new information about my family and, and the Rodriguez's journey to, to America. And yeah, I just started thinking about things in a whole new, in a whole new way and decided to go ahead and, and reclaim the, the name that I was given when I was born, um, honor my grandparents and, uh, and their journey and my father. And, uh, you know, he'll be able to see his name on my work now for the first time, which is, uh, something I was very happy to do. And that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. My best friend, uh, since childhood, uh, Todd Harthan, who's, who's running a show called the resident right now and his family, still live in San Antonio and they are like my surrogate family. So I still make it back there whenever I can to see them. Papacitos usually happens uh, on the way from the airport to Todd's house. That's, that's <laughs> generally the first stop. I'm a corn tortilla guy. Yeah, I mean, corn I think is a little more versatile and you can eat more of them. <laughs> but uh, when you're when you have a hunkering for a flour tortilla, you know nothing can quench that except a flour tortilla. Yeah, I mean you're not going to make a burrito with a corn tortilla. No, no, you're not. Yeah, you're just not going to get the same satisfaction when you need it. You know what I mean? So now they both they both have uh, their place, and uh, you know we need both of them. Simple soup for the season. Buy Caldo from Pico de Gallo and make a turkey recipe with all those Thanksgiving leftovers. And next, they are going virtual this year. Celebrate inclusion and accessibility anywhere for the virtual Snowball 5K. Happy Inclusion Tuesday. And Morgan's Wonderland is hosting its annual Snowball 5K this December. But this time around, it's going to be virtual. Joining us now to tell us all about it is Brooke Kearney, Chief Mission Officer at Morgan's Wonderland. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Doing well. Okay, let's talk about this virtual 5K and how it's going to work. 
Yeah. So normally every year we have our 5k here, our snowball run, walk, stroll or roll here on site at Morgan's Wonderland. And you know, this year's thrown us a few curveballs, So we're being creative this year and we're actually going virtual for our 5k. So you can still participate. But the cool thing this year is you can participate from anywhere across the country and still move for inclusion and support Morgan's Wonderland. Walk me kind of through how that works for someone participating from home. Awesome, yeah, so we're working with a really cool system this year. So when you register, you can actually sign up, uh, create a team, and then through this system, you can actually record the time that it takes you to do your 5K at your uh, in your home area or wherever you'd like to go to a park, as long as you're doing it safely. And then there's an actual leaderboard on there and everything. So you can do it kind of in your own time, record your time, and really everybody's a winner in this because what we're doing is getting out together on December December 19th and moving for inclusion and supporting Morgan's Wonderland's mission of inclusion. All right. So for those who want to participate and want to register, how do they do that? Yeah, it's real simple. You can visit us at morganswonderland.com and there on the top of the screen, there's a register button and it'll take you to our snowball page. And on our snowball page, you can click through to the uh, online system that we're using. You can register as an individual, you can create your own team and then encourage family members across the country to register and walk with you. Uh, it's a real simple process all online this year. Um, and we're actually gonna be able to ship you uh, your shirt and your other items that you get when you register. Just like your typical five Okay, we've got a really cool, awesome, limited uh, long sleeve shirt that you'll get. Um, you'll also get a limited edition uh, ornament, a Morgan's Wonderland ornament. We've started handing those out instead of medals so that you can really kind of celebrate us uh, at, on your holiday tree at your home. You can also print a bib so we can get pictures and everything taken care of. And then you have access to that online platform that you can share your message and your story of why you support inclusion and then encourage others to uh, donate and support that cause as well. All right, fantastic. And once more, just who does the fundraiser benefit? Yeah, so this fundraiser is gonna benefit all of Morgan's Wonderland, our new Morgan's Wonderland sports complex, and all of our sports and recreational program that we're offering. We're really, we have a great Paralympic style sports program, our straps program. And then we're also partnering with uh, our uh, Special Olympics of Texas. And so your support of the Morgan's Wonderland 5K, uh, Snowball 5K directly benefits those programs and our ability to reach more folks in 2021. The Morgan's Wonderland Virtual Snowball 5K will Will take place on December 19th. This event is open to participants of all ages and abilities. Registration fees range from $20 to $35 and vary by age and participant type. Register today as an individual, join a team, or create your own team. Just go to morganswonderland.com or call 210-495-5888 for more information. Next on the show, La Familia Cortez has the perfect recipe for the cold winter days ahead. Tis the season for comfort food weather. Today we have help from La Familia Cortez, Gilbert de la Paz. We are making the favorite, my favorite, caldo, but you also have a nice soup recipe with those turkey leftovers, but we're starting first with the caldo. Yes, so we have beef caldo that um, we're gonna be making here. We serve it at Pico de Gallo restaurant here down the street from the market square, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday for lunch. And it's perfect weather um, to start eating our it delicious is. beef caldo. It so is. I already cooked the beef down. Mm -hmm. um, we use our beef shanks and it also starts off with onions, garlic and jalapeno. Mm -hmm. and. And then after an hour and a half, two hours, you go ahead and add your vegetables. Okay. And on this, you want to cut the vegetables chunky so they don't break down while it's cooking and become mush. And so we add potatoes, um, zucchini, yellow squash, um, celery. <laughs> we also have some Lots carrots. Of yes. I love this. Yes. And so this is very nutritional um, to eat. We cook the beef shank with the bone in, um, which also adds lots of flavor to that. Look at all and of then, the colors. Yes. And so, yeah, you want to go ahead and get all those vegetables in there, and they're going to cook down and just add lots of flavor to our caldo. 
Delicious comfort food for this time of the year, really. This is one of my favorite things to have as the weather gets cooler. Mm -hmm. So all of this goes in and then... All that goes in. And you're gonna cook that for another 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. to, and a good indicator is where you check the potato. Okay. So yeah, you want it fork soft, the potatoes. And that's when you know it's it's done. You add the cabbage there <laughs> at the end. I'm overloading this here. <laughs> but you, you, add, you can enjoy this at... At Pico de Gallo, we're mm -hmm. at 111. Um, Leona Street and we also have some um, great lunch specials Beautiful. to go along with our caldo if you're not in the mood for caldo and then um, you know stick it to the tradition of making soup during this year you know Thanksgiving is yeah. really my favorite time of the yes. year because of the leftovers oh, yeah I'm the leftover king at <laughs> home so you know that's what my mom calls me I love that and so what I do I love getting turkey that's leftovers okay. we always cook about two turkeys at home uh -huh. um, and so I shred that up and then I make pozole out of it. Ooh. But I'm going to show you how to make pozole very easy. Super easy. I love the shortcuts. Yes. With you, the you can buy our menudo base okay. at um, HEB and also at Pico de Gallo. We sell um, oh, good to some of that. So if you're this there, already yeah. has the pozole in there. Very easy. You put in the base, add a little bit more water if you want it thinner. You, I add a little bit more pozole, even though that's already in there. Yes. And then some shredded turkey with that and then you're going to let that simmer for a good seven to eight minutes and voila it's that's it. done that's how easy we made it you know again you can find this soup base at pico de gallo or at um heb yes and we also do a tortilla soup base that you can also do a lighter pozole oh with i've that. tried the tortilla soup but so many different options and again you can find these at your local heb and for more on all the restaurants with la familia cortez la familia cortez Com. Gilbert, thank you. Leftover King. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, it's uh, Try It Tuesday, and I'm going to tackle an oil change. Hopefully, I get it right. Uh, on this Try It Tuesday, we're here at Calamarado Care at Alamo Ranch, and we're going to take a look under the hood. Well, one thing, kind of like death and taxes, you got to get your car taken care of, whether it's just the regular maintenance or if something goes wrong. And Caliber Auto Care, Chris Pazderny, is the uh, director of operations. Yes, and you can do just about anything and everything that you need with a car, right? Absolutely. We can do everything from quick oil changes over here in our quick loop center to a full-blown mechanic shop. We do brakes, engine replacements. There's nothing we really can't do on a vehicle. I mean, there's nothing more frustrating than when your car doesn't work, right? That's right. So what can you do to ease the pain? We do a lot of things. So everything about us is built about customer service, and we understand your time is a luxury. We have a shuttle service to come and pick up your vehicle, take you home. We'll take you to work. We'll do whatever we got to do to accommodate you during this time. And our number one goal is to restore you to the rhythm of your life and make this a seamless transaction so it interrupts your life as least amount as possible. So also, you've gone through a little bit of an identity change. We will. have, Mike. So formerly, we were called Service First Automotive. Uh, we are now Caliber Auto Care. We are following the same you know, customer service as our partner, Caliber Collision, where we are reimagining car care and uh, restoring our customers to the rhythm of our life. So it's the same great people and the same exceptional service that you got when you were Service First Automotive. It's just a name change. Okay, speaking of uh, customers first and with all the COVID going on, obviously you're got a lot to do with that, right? We do. We follow the CDC guidelines. Um, on top of that, we have a drive-through oil change process where you can stay in your vehicle. You don't have to get out and get into the facility. If you choose to come in, we have hand sanitizing stations. We clean the, the facilities thoroughly a couple of times a day, and we have plexiglass separating us from our customers, and we're all required to wear a mask. And of course, there are so many deals and specials and savings going on as we head into the holidays and Christmas. And boy, you're not getting left out. You got a list of stuff longer than Santa's list, right? We, we do, Mike. Tis the season to save, right? So here at Caliber Auto Care, starting November 19th, we're offering buy three, get one free on tires, Uniroll, BF Goodrich, and Michelin. 
On top of that, during the Black Friday special, November 27th through the 30th, you can get the same buy three, get one free, and get up to a $120 Visa gift card during that time frame. Wow. And that's to kick off our Black Friday special. And then Black Friday, which starts November 27th, starts our 12 days of Christmas, which ends December 19th. We're offering crazy incentives and crazy coupons on all different kinds of services from brakes, fluid services, 50% off oil changes, free tire rotations, and the top it all off, you can combine every discount that we have on one purchase. You don't have to do them separately. They're all combined together. All right, enough of all that stuff. I want to stick my head underneath the hood and uh, do a little oil change, okay? Thank you, Mike. Clear the drain. All right, drain plug tight, clear to fill. All right, looks good. And how's that look? All right, oil level's good. All right. Vehicle sealed, rub check. Okay, oil's changed, but that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg of what you do here, right? That's correct, Mike. So, so every vehicle that comes into Caliber Auto Care, we do a digital vehicle inspection on those vehicles, whether it's in the loop center or the repair center. So everything that we recommend you need on your vehicle, you know that you need that because we're sending you a digital vehicle inspection. It's all about trust through transparency. So basically, while the oil's draining out, you're not just kind of sitting there, you're no, sir. getting it the once over the whole time and then going, here's what's going on, oil's changed. It's kind of like a pit crew, Mike. How often are you under your vehicle? Never. You don't know unless somebody tells you. And what you need to know is what's going on with your vehicle so you can make an educated decision on what needs to be done to your vehicle. For more information on Caliber Auto Care and for all those deals, 50% off oil changes and more, give them a call at 210-455-1645 or visit CaliberAutoCare.com. November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and for those out there who do have diabetes, did you know that your medical, dental, and behavioral health needs are all connected? Methodist Healthcare Ministries is ready to help you with all of that. And joining us today to tell us more is Leticia Ortiz Johnson, Director of Medical Operations and Services. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. All right, tell us about some of the ways Methodist Healthcare Ministries provides care for patients with diabetes. Okay, well, if I might just start with a little bit of an introduction um, about Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Um, we're a faith-based nonprofit organization, um, which actually we're celebrating 25 years of service. Um, and we serve the people of Central and South Texas. Um, there's 32.4 million Americans who have diabetes, who have been diagnosed with diabetes. Um, the average rate in Bear County in San Antonio is at about 14%, and that's higher than the Texas average, which is about 10.6%. So many of us um, within our own families, um, our own communities, our friends have been affected by diabetes. We know somebody who's been affected or is currently being affected by diabetes. So it, um, it's very important here at MHM to make sure that we care for those clients, um, that we make our services readily available to them. Um, take them in whenever we can possibly fit them in, especially during this COVID time frame. We know that becomes a little difficult. But um, so we here at uh, Methodist Health Care Ministries, we want to make certain that our families, our friends, um, our communities are being able to manage or we want to help manage their diabetes. Also joining us is Leslie Allison, Behavioral Health Clinical Manager with Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Hello there. Ooh. All right, where does behavioral health fit in here? You know, it's a great question. So as Letty mentioned, there's a lot of complexities to patients with diabetes. Sometimes they need to have PCP. Sometimes they need to have uh, a diabetic health educators and nutritionists. Um, but we know that there are complex amount of health issues that go on. And so when our medical team is caring for a patient with diabetes and notices that they are dealing with some other stressors that may be related to their diabetes or some other stressor in life that could lead to possible depression. Um, our team has um, additional integrated specialists called behavioral health consultants uh, that can also assist the physicians, the nursing staff, the health educators, the nutritionists, in helping to make our emotional health also a part of our health. So Leslie, is that basically how an integrated health care model helps patients who have diabetes? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's essential that you really do take a holistic perspective. We are whole people. Diabetes is a disease that impacts our total health. And so making a plan um, and really taking, uh, taking inventory to take control of it to make sure that you're not alone and that you have a full team behind you is really important. To have Definitely. And great point. Thinking a little more holistically about their health. Thank you so much, Leslie Allison, Behavior Health Clinical Manager with Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Methodist Healthcare Ministries has two health and wellness centers in San Antonio, the Wesley Center on Fitch Street. That phone number is 210-922-6922 and the Dixon Center on East South Cross. The phone number there, 210-527-1505. For more information, just visit the website mhm.org. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, we're getting you ready for Thanksgiving with fun crafts for the whole family. Plus, what are you making to go along with that turkey? Chef Leo Davila will serve up some ideas for Turkey Day sides. That's all tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Uh, the big question, roasted, deep fried, smoked. Let's see, Valerie says roasted. Mm, the traditional way. Mm. Jem says deep fried, but this year only doing turkey breast roasted. Okay, sounds that good. Just seals in the ju all of the above. Yes, yes Mary Jane. Mary. <laughs> I, I agree. Castro Luis says fried is the only way. I still need to try that. I have it, to try. it is good if you can find one. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good on one plate. Oh, wouldn't you like that to have the little sampler platter? Yes, exactly. Lupita says roasted. Yes. I'm with you on the roasted. And then mm -hmm. you were asking, what's your favorite side? Yes, your favorite side. Um, I'm going to go with sweet potato casserole that my wife makes. I like, my, of course, my grandpa's <laughs> stuffing. I'm sorry. Oh. It's, it's just mm, Which is a meal in itself. Hey, we are off tomorrow. Have a fantastic